In this video, we're going to talk about the systemic vessels based off of the torso here that we have. This is the torso that we're having in class, and so we're just going to walk through the flow of blood through the actual arteries, and so we're just going to walk through specifically the systemic arteries found on this torso model here. So all blood comes from that, our arterial blood comes from that left ventricle, and so once we go from that left ventricle, you'll notice that the heart's not here, so we're not going to see the coronary arteries, the first two branches of the ascending aorta. But we still see, after that, we still see a bit of the ascending aorta right here, uh, and you could imagine the ascending aorta first then gives then the arch of the aorta, and you could imagine the arch of the aorta has three branches, right? Arch of the aorta to three branches, brachiocephalic, left common carotid, and left subclavian. Uh, brachiocephalic will split into the right common carotid and then the right subclavian. And then if we're taking a look at the common carotids, they'll go up into the neck with the internal and external carotid, and we actually see just two of the branches of the external carotid here, uh, the facial artery here, as well as then the superficial temporal artery. Uh, when we take a look at the rest of it, we see the subclavian moving along and then we don't see anything else of it. But on the model, it continues as the arch of the aorta go moves into the descending aorta, creating then the posterior intercostal arteries. You can see all these branches going into the intercostal space there. Once we pierce the diaphragm, uh, the descending or in this area called the thoracic aorta becomes the abdominal aorta. And we have a bunch of organs that require some blood, so we have to have a lot of branches here. And so the first two branches that we're going to find are the inferior phrenic. Now the left one is missing, but the right one is here going back up to the diaphragm. So inferior phrenic coming back up, and then we get the next one, a large celiac trunk. The celiac trunk supplies many of the arteries that we have uh, in the abdominal cavity. To the left, this guy would travel to the left, become the splenic, because the spleen is on the left side. The right is the common hepatic, and then this one coming straight up is the left gastric, and that would supply the stomach. So left common hepatic go to the liver and some of the small intestines, while the uh, splenic to the spleen and left gastric to the stomach, or at least part of it. After that, we get the superior mesenteric. Now mesenteric is that covering or membrane covering going to the small intestines and the colon. And so we can say that the superior mesenteric takes care of all of small intestines, ascending and transverse colon, or at least part of it. After that, we get the blood vessels that go up to the suprarenal glands, this is called the suprarenal, and then they go straight across to the kidneys, called the renal glands, and then going down uh, to the gonads, called the gonadal. Now if this was a male species, we can't tell. So this is a male, it would be testicular, if it was female, it would be ovarian. After that, the last branch that we see here is called the inferior mesenteric, which is the case here of the last bit of the trans transverse colon, descending colon, sigma colon, and then the rectum as it continues on. Abdominal aorta then splits into the two left and right common iliacs, which then give off the external and internal iliac, and then the external iliac continues as the femoral artery as it goes on to the thigh. And so those are all the arteries that we see here, and that's our tutorial.